Welcome back to the Bratz Collection Restore series. So this episode was filmed over the first few months, settling into my new flat and working on my dolls along the way. This is gonna be a very chill and relaxed episode as I take you along the process of organizing my dolls' clothes, redressing them, restyling their hair. You'll see some of their transformations and some new dolls I bought. So make yourself comfy and relaxed and I hope you enjoy the video. Well, hello and welcome to my new, <laughs> my new flat. Um, I moved in five days ago now. I still haven't really finished the living room. All my dolls are still in the boxes. I need to dust this box. Look at that, awful. <laughs> I actually already got the phone out and I tried it in the phone plug and it does not seem to work. It like wasn't making like the noise, the tone. So yeah, that's kind of sad. I don't have a phone number for my flat anyway, but yeah, I was just hoping it would work, but it doesn't. Anyway, I actually want to paint this white but I don't have any paint and I don't have a sander and I just want to get them in there so that they're not sort of smushed. I just want them to have a place to sit for the time being. I also found these cards that were stuck in the display case. I had like blue tacked them on, I don't know why. I managed to pretty much fit almost all of my dolls in here. There are a few elsewhere, but. So these ones I have not cleaned yet. So I'm gonna take these all out. Okay, so of all the clothes I've washed, I've actually managed to put them, all of the outfits, to which doll they belong to. So now I've just got to get the dolls out and redress them. Pretty and punk, Yasmin. I always used to think she was Megan because she's really pale and has like red hair. This was one of my favorite dolls growing up. She is so freaking cool. I can't find her skirt, but I think it's around here somewhere. Soccer Megan, done. I don't know where Princess Jade socks are. This is bad guys. I've seemed to have like lost a lot and I don't know where it would have gone. There's actually loads of other accessories I haven't looked through, so put them on later. Not even just can make us fly. Chili to Sasha, I just need to redo her hair. Birthday Jade, first edition twins, Roxy, I need to get her leather jacket. I misplaced her other top and I also misplaced her shoes. This was my first ever doll, so as you can imagine, it's kind of hard to keep track of all their clothes and accessories. So close to my heart. My lipstick is coming off. Update, so I have started putting them away. Top row, they're all finished. Second row, all have something they are missing or need their hair being done. They're done and then they're all naked. And then the rest of these haven't even been cleaned yet. Oh, there's so much work to be done. I haven't even edited any, any of the footage for this yet. Probably won't talk about that. So all of these clothes have been exposed to mold. So I'm going to wash these. However, the rest of these have not been they've been like up in my old room so I don't think I'll need to wash all of these clothes and also the majority of them thankfully have been kept safely in plastic bag just like this thankfully none of those need to be washed so I'm gonna do one last batch in the sink and I'm also going to clean up these little ladies and then we will almost be done I dressed Jade oh, crap oh bollocks the last of the mold clothes put them all in here oh i forgot to take the accessories out uh oh so there's shoes in here but that's okay i'm gonna put them to one side look how dirty that water is already i don't know maybe i'll just wash it all like you know what screw it i'm just gonna get it all in there it can't do any harm oh my god something is really dirty because this water is gross we're gonna sprinkle some detergent I'm going to try and get all the little bits out because I'm now going to drain this. Ooh. 
Look at that. Okay. Oh no. No, no. And we're just start at the very beginning. Oh, good morning. So we're on the last stretch. <laughs> uh, the clothes are dry. I've just like sort of organized them. So that's all the clothes done <laughs> i now just have these girls left to do i've just brushed all of their hair so now it's just them i am dreading brushing this hair like look at that that's just gonna i don't know how i'm going to approach this lovely lady's hair but we shall figure it out when we get to it and then i've got all my new i don't really know what to do with these guys because i don't know if i'm gonna have room for them because they don't actually fit in here these have like bigger shoes so uh yeah i'm not entirely sure i might put them on the top or i'm, I'm not sure what to do with them they uh, it's, it's a difficult one they don't mean as much to me as the old ones like i look at them and they don't feel as special and it, i almost i don't know that i love them because they're my brat's dolls but i didn't like i got these when i was like 19 so they don't have many memories attached to them either like some of my others do i did her hair a couple years ago so it's still in pretty good condition i don't really want to redo it so what i'm gonna do is just wet it and very gently shampoo it as it is. Literally squeeze it in like this really gently. This front that's coming out, I have to redo that. But all right, now we're gonna leave that to soak in while we do the others. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Oh, that took a while. Fiddly. I've actually just found her coat and her hat. I've even got her little mittens here. So I might keep them in storage for now just because they might fall off. But I might put them on her later. I changed over these two bodies a little while ago. And I need to change them back again because... Movie star Chloe needs her movie star poses. So, so what you're meant to do is push down their head. Till it goes all the way down. And then pull. You have to push it down first. And then pull. So, let's get these bodies back on. Push them back in. And there we go. Back reunited with her body. Oh, yes. So much better. Okay, it's been nearly two weeks since I moved in. I've decided today I'm going to work on the last batch of dolls. For these girls' hair, I think I'm not going to brush it because even though it's a little bit messy, like, it's actually still quite pretty and I don't want to ruin it. Uh, but for my masquerade, uh, not masquerade, <laughs> costume party Chloe, she's getting some frizz. So I'm just going to get certain sections of her hair and try and uh, brush out certain sections, but not all of it. Just really gently. And I'm going to try and like recurl them. <laughs> Hello, so we're a few more days in now. I wanted to update because I'm slowly kind of doing a little bit each day. But today I have something that has arrived. I'm super excited. My first ever Yasmin, as you might know, has been missing her shoes and socks for 
like years. <laughs> so I'm super excited because today Yasmin's outfit will be complete. I'm so excited. I found these, they were both separate. So there was like the socks and then the shoes on two separate listings. They were like a couple of quid each. Kind of, you know, for what it is, it's like almost like it's overpriced, but totally worth it to restore my Yasmin to her former glory. I must have been like, 11 or 12 when I lost her shoes, maybe younger. So I haven't had them literally in over a decade. And now, oh my God, she's complete. She's complete. I'm also halfway through redoing Sokka Yasmin's hair. I wasn't sure if I should just leave it because like I've never taken it out. This was my first Yasmin. I've always kept her in pretty good condition, but I mean, look, her hair's a little bit like coming out so i just thought you know i'm just gonna brush it through wash it and then redo the plaits i really didn't want to have to do that but she will look so good when she's done so here we have my gorgeous soccer yasmin and she is complete i'm so bloody happy i've redone her hair as best as i could manage it was very difficult these braids kind of went wrong these ones went better because i undid the braids like it was hard to get them back to where they were before i did as good as I could do. Now she doesn't have her ball or her bag, but honestly, those things don't matter too much to me as long as they've got their full outfit. I'm so happy. So that's Yasmin pretty much complete. Okay, next thing I'm very excited about, I have a little doll haul guys. I, I got very nostalgic and I started looking online for dolls that I've always wanted. I told myself I was done like collecting more dolls, but honestly guys, <laughs> when I see, sometimes I just can't help myself. This is gonna blow your minds. Okay, ready? Oh my God, look who I've got! <laughs> Space Angels, Chloe and Yasmin. I think that's right. Yeah, it's not Jade. Oh no, I think it's Dana actually, Dana and Yasmin. I am so freaking excited. These uh, Space Angels dolls are relatively rare. These aren't the rarest in the line. The rarest is actually the Nevra. Sasha's pretty rare and Jade is actually even pretty rare. So these are the two kind of not so rare ones, but they're still so freaking cool. I need to fix up their hair. Look at their outfits. And you know what's even cooler is they actually came with so many of their accessories. I've actually never seen these Space Angels t-shirts because they're always wearing their like first outfits, but how cool are these little tops? They kind of remind me of like Britney Spears kind of tops. And they even also came with a little bag. Like I never see the accessories. I'm very happy also that they've both come with their mics. And guys, I got these for a steal. <laughs> I got these for an absolute steal. I got these, both of these girls for 10 pound 50, can you believe that? I can't, I still can't believe my luck. There was like six people bidding on these dolls and at the last minute I put in my highest bid and I managed to win. So I'm very sorry if you were bidding on these girls, but I am so, look how gorgeous they are. Guys, look at their boots. They're so unusual. Look at her lips. Look at that orange detail on her lips. Her eyes bloody gorgeous look at the like green specks in her eyes i can't even yeah she's got a little star where her beauty mark would normally be but yeah look at her lips super unusual she's got like some white in her eyelashes oh my god these dolls are freaking insane <laughs> okay so it's been like six weeks since i moved in and i kind of have just been sidetracked with other things and i still have not finished fixing up all of the dolls so what i wanted to do today because i am actually getting there with my shelf this row and this row are done and then this row that as you can see like some of them are missing clothes i need to go through my collection and find them and i think today that is what i'm gonna do i've been waiting to dive into this box for so long because i just really want to find all the clothes i'm really excited to um go into all these little bags and possibly repackage some of them so i literally have pretty much everyone's second outfits and just like random outfits that i know go to somebody but i don't actually have the doll so like this i've got lots of bags where i've just put really random clothes i don't know there's like a bag just full of bags in there oh that's flashback fever cameron stuff funk out fiana 2004 outfit that's my aubrey outfit i think i'm just gonna get it all out you know 
Woohoo! Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's a giant bag here just of like random stuff that like I don't actually even have the doll for some of these clothes. Just, just from like bundles that I've bought. Um, and then I've got more in here. Awesome. Okay. Oh, I think there's more clothes in here. I've actually just found another card. I don't know why I put it in here, but that can go with my cards. I actually think, I don't know if I have any more cards, but I tried to keep everything like together for the which doll it came with. I've got like a ton of suitcases for like, th these. this was the new ones for the Study Abroad dolls, 2015. And then these are like the super cool um, pretty and punk. And then look, I've got like all the baby's blankets in one packet. I'm just sort of like trying to keep them, I don't know, like clean and in good condition. It's not as though I intend to sell them at all, but I just think that I should look after them. I'm literally going through these and so many memories are coming back to me because obviously I packaged these like quite a few years ago. Must be like five years ago. So like I'm seeing all my brat's baby little mascots that they came with this freaking butterfly all of this bag this bag is all brats babies stuff and then we've got little brats stuff i feel like little brats was like really early days brats so i loved this chloe cowboy bag that was so cute this is how i store my brushes by the way i um put them like together and they kind of just stay like that. I keep all the brushes. I like them. I think they're cool. I like how they're different colors. Some of them you actually can figure out which color goes to which doll because like that specific color was only made for that specific doll. Um, but then there's a lot of like generic ones where you can't really tell. Um, and then obviously the new ones, the lip brushes. This is actually like came with one of the kids. This bag, I just kept it because it was cute. And that's got all like food items and like little hair stuff. That's not all of that is actually even brats. Some of that is my scene. I used to freaking love all these little, the phones and all their little accessories. Little, everything is so cute. I just didn't want to lose any of it. So I keep it in these bags. I've even got the makeup that came with the masquerade dolls. I just found Phoebe's clothes. I am so, so excited to put them back on her. I've probably mentioned it already, but Phoebe and Roxy were my first ever. Considering she was my first ever doll, I've managed to keep quite a lot of her stuff. I just don't have her other top. I even managed to keep her makeup through all these years. It's been like, it's been like 17 years. These are my favorite shoes as well, but only problem is look at that. The paint is coming off. They're so old. So I was thinking of getting some black nail polish and going over that. Okay, there she is pretty much complete. I will say I should really give her coat a clean. I'd also like to redo her fringe because it's always kind of been in her eyes. But other than that, she has the most beautiful, beautiful hair. I loved how she had like this, these puffy, like bouncy bangs. I just love her, so she can go back up next to Roxy. Whilst I'm at it, I'm gonna change Roxy's shoes. I actually lost her shoes like a long, long time ago, like pretty much <laughs> within the same year that I got her. But I have these ones, which I always thought suited her quite well. These are the Step Out Chloe heels. I think these have been used on a few other dolls as well, but I've always thought they look really good with her style. So she usually wears these or she's got like some black boots on. I am super happy because my mum brought Colin to visit. It was crazy. I had no idea she was bringing him. When I saw him at the doorstep, I burst into tears. She stayed for tea and stuff. And then she was like, do you want to keep him um, for a few days? So he's been with me for two nights now and he's really settled in and he really likes it here. Bless him. And he's always keeping me company. A bit off topic, but I had to include him in the vlog. Colin never goes anywhere. He stayed at home like his whole life, but he's like in my flat, it's so weird. <laughs> he's made me so happy the past two days. I like couldn't stop crying for like 24 hours. <laughs> yes, I love you. I love you very much. So this is how many dolls I have still to clean. I know, I can't believe it. I really wanted to get more of them cleaned by now, but hopefully I'm gonna get all of these done today. So I thought I'd show you how I wash some of the big curly hairstyles. Generally, even if the hair gets wet, the curls will retain their shape as long as the water is not too hot. 
If the water is very hot or boiling, the hair might lose shape. It's actually a great way to straighten doll hair, but not today. So I just added some shampoo and gently scrunched it in, which is actually what you would do for real curly hair. I then just left it to soak for a little bit and rinsed it out and left it to completely air dry without touching it at all. So with hair like this, it's best not to touch it too much or brush it because it will get super frizzy and it's harder to fix, kind of like my costume party Chloe doll. Okay, so I have just finished doing a few girls hair. I have done live in concert Chloe, Sunkiss Summer Yasmin. I just uh, did redid her braids, put some bands in, and then I just redid my Express It Jade's little space buns. She has so much hair, it was literally impossible to get them any smaller than this, but I do find that styling their hair slightly wet is a little easier. The only one left to do for today is my Midnight Dance Yasmin, who's incredible, who I never even realized actually had the wrong hairstyle. So I'm just gonna show everything I am doing. Okay, so I don't have um, the brown ribbon that comes in her original hairstyle. I'll have to find some and eventually do it properly, but for now, I'm just gonna section off her hair where the brown ribbon should be. So I'm just going to attach this bit, her side bangs, to this little piece here. I'm gonna make sure it's really, really smooth. I don't actually have any hair gel, so I'm just having to work with their hair wet and hope for the best. Oh, so annoying. There's this little hair that's bugging me. I'm gonna have to read it. I'm a bit too much of a perfectionist for this. Okay, so I know I left that little bit on the side, but I've actually decided to pick it up into the swoop now because I realized that her parting is actually a little deeper. And this is her hair pretty much complete. It took me three tries, but I kind of got the best I could do. And now I'm just gonna let her dry. That's it for this episode, guys. I hope you'll stay tuned for the next one, which will probably be the final episode. You'll get to see all the dolls looking shiny and fabulous, completely restored, and you'll get to see a tour of the collection displays. So I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.